you're looking for a quick fix dish that's light on calories but heavy on flavor, give this sauteed chicken with Dijon mustard sauce a try. What it means to saute is that you're pan frying with whatever protein that you're using. In this case, we're using chicken breasts. These are almost cutlets because they're so thin. But the important thing to note here is that the thickness of the chicken needs to be consistent throughout. If your chicken breasts are rather large, you go ahead and use a meat mallet or a tenderizer to flatten it out because you're looking for an even thickness so that it cooks evenly throughout. Otherwise, you're going to have areas that are overdone and areas that are underdone, and then it's just going to be kind of a mess. So that's the important thing to note here, and uh, we can get right on with the recipe. When sauteing, it's also important that you have a nice hot skillet. So we're going to go ahead and let that start preheating while we season the chicken breasts. We're going to go ahead and season it with how, however much to taste, but I'm going to go ahead and do the salt. Just season the one side, and then we'll season the other side when it goes into the skillet. I'm going to have two teaspoons of cooking oil here. Remember, keeping it light, so only a little bit of oil. So a nonstick pan is essential when you're trying to keep things low fat. You'll know your pan is hot enough because the oil will kind of shimmer there in the pan, and it's going to move around a lot easier than it did before. So when it's nice and hot, it's almost more like a water consistency versus a thick oil. So it looks like we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and just get the chicken in here. That's what you want to hear. All right, I'm going to go ahead and season the other sides now, just so I don't forget. With these being as thin as they are, it's going to take about probably five minutes on each side, maybe even a little bit less, and uh, we'll be good to go. What you're looking for for the chicken when it's ready to flip is uh, it's going to be, you're going to see nice white around the edge there coming toward you, and uh, it should be good to go for flipping now. Go. Looks good. Excellent. About five more minutes and we'll be good to go. All the chicken's going over there. We're going to go ahead and chop up the parsley that we're going to be using for our garnish on top. Going to need about uh, probably two tablespoons. And this really is optional, but uh, it adds a nice fresh color and flavor to everything. So I don't think it's optional. All right, so the chicken's done. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer it to a clean plate. We're going to cover it with aluminum foil while we finish up the sauce. And that came up real easy. And that's when you know that uh, the chicken is done because it won't be sticking to the pan. Another benefit of a nonstick skillet. So set that over here. I'm going to cover it up with the foil to keep them warm. On to the next steps. All right, so let's go ahead and start on the pan sauce now. We have uh, half a cup of dry vermouth, a teaspoon of dried thyme, one clove of garlic that's been minced. I'm going to use my handy dandy uh, garlic press. You're gonna let this go and get it up to a simmer. It's gonna reduce by half, and then we're gonna add in the Dijon mustard, and uh, we'll be ready to go. All right, so it's reduced by uh, half now, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it and uh, let that just turn off for a second. And off the heat, we're gonna add in the mustard. I'm gonna eyeball it two tablespoons. If you are not a huge lover of mustard, you might not wanna eyeball it, and, but you know, I like it, so we'll be okay. It's really cool what the mustard does too, because it, it, it actually thickens the sauce, and uh, which is something that you, most people don't think realize that uh, mustard is an emulsifier. All right, so we're going to plate up our chicken now. Plate it up here. <clears throat> Just going to put a little sauce on there. A little dab will do you. It is a flavorful sauce. There you go. A meal is done in less than 30 minutes. It's light on calories, loaded with flavor. Enjoy.